Good evening, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to continue the study of international logistics. The, my name is Felipe. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this video, give us a like. Don't forget to support this video with donations and start the notifications. Share this video with your friends. Follow me in Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much. Let us start. If you like, add a commentary. Make your question. Lighted is an old term for barges and originally referred to barges that received cargo at the Wayne Heads in New Jersey, across from Manhattan, and carried into moor ships on the Manhattan Water Cross, front each loaded, using ship's tackle, unloading or loading a vessel utilizing a smaller vessel to move to end from shore is called lightning. Lift on lift off container ships, now generally referred as container ships, are specifically designed to carry container in cells aboard the ship. They are also called cellular ships. Land chassis, the frame and vent ways atop which containers ride, are not carried aboard the ships. A inventory of this equipment must be maintained on both the charge and load ports. Containers are unloaded from the ship by huge cranes and laid upon waiting land chassis. These vessels are standarded to carry 20 or 40 feet long containers. Container ships come in all sizes, and sizes married, measured according to the number of TEUs. 20 feet equivalent containers they can carry. A trade report on chartered contracts for container ships in late 1992 showed TEU capacity ranging from 204 to 2238. The small ships were slow, with speeds ranging from 6 to 80 knots and the larger vessels have speeds as high as 22 knots. The vessels were divided into self-sustaining and gearless capabilities, with the former being able to load and discharge with its own vessel-based equipment. The latter were dependent on shore-side equipment. Leases ran from 6 to 18 months and priced, expressing daily rates per TEU ran from $7.50 to $19. In late 1986, American President Lines ordered 4,300 TUs vessels that are too wide for transit the Panama Channel. According to APL, President Timothy J. Reigns statement at that time, these are the first ships to be designed specifically for Trans-Pacific service. By removing the limitation of the ships being, we were able to increase their capacity while optimizing their speed, fuel, efficient and stability. They are 896 feet long and have beams of 130 feet. Ports handling then have had uh, to increase the size of their shore side cranes and today the vessels are referred to as post Panama container ships which also means that they are too large to pass through to the panel, Panama Channel. Roll on and roll low. Vessels are not const constrained by cell lenses. Other rolling cargo, such as tractors and automobiles, are simply driving aboard the vessel. Truck trainers are driving aboard and parked. Specialized wheeled equipment, such as flatheads and framed tank containers, permit the easy handling of all, almost every type of cargo. Lash vessels, lighter aboard ship, carry very large containers barges. Cargo is loaded at pier site into barges which are themselves loaded aboard the ship. The advantage of lash shipping is the twofold. First, because of the shallow draft the barges, they can be loaded in shallow water seaports, where the mother vessel itself cannot be accommodated. They can also be loaded and unloaded at river ports away from the sea coast 
and be towed down river or up river. Second lease within a port, resulting from congestion, can be avoided all together by the mother ship, which never needs to await birth space. These features make lash vessels particularly attractive in less developed countries. Lash margar are 10, 20, 6 feet, and they are vessels handling even larger barges known as sea bees. Mail bulk carriers. These are specialized ships for carrying high volume cargoes. The best example are new car carriers used for autos. Many have adjustable decks so they can reduce waste space above the modern vehicle's roofs. At the end of 1991, the world fleet of specialized car ships totaled 309 ships with a joint capacity of 1,266,000 private cars. In the late 1980s, a firm announced it would develop a monthly service between Portugal and Japan using whole whole vessels with autos going on a way number the other. Some auto carriers are designed to carry bulk loads as well, for example, soybeans as a return haul to Japan. Another large new book rule is logs, because logs float. Some log carrying vessels are designed to tie sideways at such a sharp angle that the logs will slide off into the water. This would occur inside an enclosed water area, and later the logs would be lifted ashore one by one. Other specialized new book vessels have been designed for carrying newsprint and livestock. There have been tankers that were equipped to carry only bulk, wine, or orange juice. Combined passenger and cargo ships. In trade between North and South America, several vessels are operated that carry about 100 passengers plus container freight. The nature of the freight business in that market results in stops at many ports along the coastline, which please tourists. A slight advantage to cargo shippers is that the passenger vessel receives priority in docking in case to port is congested. Let's stop it here. Later we continue. Follow me on Twitter, share this video, subscribe on this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.